Hello, my beautiful people. I'm Mina. Welcome back to another Nighttime Pouring episode. Tonight we are starting off our Planetary series, a collaboration between Massey Art Studio and myself. Um, I have always been uh, a very big fan of all the different science and astrology and astronomy, and I love all the different planets, and I really I enjoy all of the different colors and. You know, I think they're just really, really beautiful, and I've always enjoyed looking at pictures through telescope, the Hubble telescope of all these different planets. So, Lee and Jeremy and I have decided to do some pours inspired by, by some of these planets. So the one we're doing tonight is mine is inspired by Mars, and it's interesting because we just finished a pour called Obsession, which I think you've seen by this point, and I had planned to use my leftovers and mix up a color, a couple more colors to add to that palette to do this pour but I actually don't think we need to so I'm just gonna stick with what I've got right there which I will show you those colors in a minute and then we're gonna layer a cup and then we're gonna pour on this 18 inch round the first one I'm using is Amsterdam permanent blue violet with just a touch of folk art treasure gold antique copper in there very very pretty not very thick not very very thin but you know this next one is Quinacridone Burnt Orange from Golden. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. So pretty. Okay, and then I'm using um, Amsterdam Titanium White with some DecoArt Satin Enamel in there in pure white. And then we have my DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And I have put a thin layer of this on there already. So the back of it is taped. HOA did a lovely job, thank you. And I'm using Molly's paint stands. Thank you, Molly, they are awesome. I really, really enjoy them. Let's actually move this over just a touch. Have some room. Okay, so, oh, everything is mixed with mix, pour. You can message Krista at krista8974 at gmail.com and she will hook you up with your own mix. So, okay, I wanna do a flip cup. And let's see, we're gonna start with, let's start with some of the burnt orange. And I am gonna layer it, I'm not gonna do a dirty cup. Okay, and I'm gonna put some of that blue violet in there. And then some gold. And then a little bit of white. And then we're gonna go back to the burnt orange again. And put a little bit of gold on top of that. And a little bit more white. And then blue violet again. And then some gold. I'm gonna skip the white there and put the burnt orange in now. Now I'm gonna put some white on there. A little bit of gold. And then last layer of the blue violet. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do a flip cup onto the canvas. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. I might do a flip and lip where I use the lip to create some areas of interest if I, if I want to. Here we go. Oop. That's pretty. And I do want to do the lip. That's cool. I love that. I'm just gonna flip that over and put that right there and let the rest of it drain out. I'll give this a second, I'm gonna turn this towards you because there's some really cool things happening. Mm -hmm. Can you get close in there? And these cells are gorgeous. Okay. Let's move that out of the way. Let's start this real quick. Mm-hmm. 
That's really cool. Okay, we're just going to give that a minute to develop. Um, I want to put some flow extender around that. And we probably have enough paint to cover the canvas, but I don't want to like stretch it too much. I'm just going to take what's left of my white and the rest of my gold. I'm going to mix those two up a little bit. I'm going to thin that down with some water. spreading it out. Okay. Alright, here we go. Whatever the weight of the pink is, we're going to go down this way off of this edge first. And then go down. really neat. I love that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands off. And then we're gonna torch this again. Let's see if any more cells want to come up. This is so pretty in here though with the burnt orange and purple. Mm. And I love the line where we wrecked it with the lip of the cup. That was awesome and I love these cells really really cool i like this part it's a little bit murky but it actually looks very much like the photograph of mars that hoa was showing you before we started okay that side looks a little burnt orange and put that right on top over here. <laughs> this looks pretty awesome. Uh, I'm excited about this. There's lots of cool uh, factoids and things that I've been looking up about Mars also, and I will tell you those. We'll be right back. bit of 
time left, so I actually want to do another pour for you guys. Uh, we just finished the planet Mars, which is drying and looks really, really cool. And I want to do the sun. So yellow is one of those colors that can be very, very challenging for any artist because if you don't use it correctly, it can kind of take over. So um, I seem to have amassed quite the collection of different kinds of yellow. <laughs> and we're using a few of them today. Let me show you my colors. I will in one second. This is a 15 inch round. It's a half inch thick. It's wood. I've taped the back. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of my Amsterdam white on the surface of it as kind of a primer, but I haven't gessoed it or anything. These are really nice and smooth. I don't see any grain on them, so it'll be fine with just a base coat. Okay, colors. The first one we are using is Golden's Nickel Azo Gold, which is right here. And this is going to give us hopefully a little bit of depth. So I'm hoping to use this one in smaller layers. Everything is mixed with mixed pour tonight. You can message Krista at Krista8974, email her, and she will hook you up with some mix. And it's going to be available internationally, which I'm so excited about. I know several of you have been waiting so patiently. So that's my nickel azo gold from Golden. And I also have, so one is, I haven't used it in a pour before, nickel azo yellow by Golden. And this is it's so funny looking at it in the jar. What did I say it looked like, HOA? <laughs> Baby poo. <laughs> it's not as offensive though in the cup. So I'm hoping that in the painting it's actually going to work out pretty well. So this is the Nickel Azo Yellow from Golden. Okay, the next one we have is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep. Cadmium, yeah, Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. And this is what I typically think of as the color yellow sort of a warm banana. <laughs> okay, so that's the cadmium yellow from Liquitex. Then I have the other yellow we're using, is a new one for me that just came in the mail today, is Azo Yellow Lemon by Amsterdam. It has a little bit of a neon-y feeling to it. It is very bright though, and very cheerful. <laughs> So I think this is going to be interesting. We'll see what happens with it. So those are the yellows that I'm using. I'm also using Golden's Pyrrol Orange, which is a beautiful, very happy color. I, I, I have loved every single pour I've ever used this in. We used this in Kaleidoscope. It was amazing. Okay, so that's the orange. And then last but not least, I have my Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with a little bit of the Satin Enamels. And that's this one. I have taken some of this and put it into this cup and added water to it to thin it out. And we're going to use that as our base coat. Okay, so I do want to do another flip cup because I think that was really, really fun. So the question is, is do I want to put this down as a base coat? Yeah, I think I do want to put it down as a base coat. Okay, but well we're going to layer our cup first. So I'm going to take the same 16 ounce cup. That's a 15 inch round. I'm not going to fill it up all the way but I'm not going to get hung up on too much paint or too little paint or anything. Okay, I actually want to start with some of the, and I'm going to be using thinner layers of paint. I'm going to hopefully get all these colors in there and not very thick layers. So there's the Nickel Azo Gold. We're going to use the Nickel Azo Yellow next. And then I'm going to come in with some of that bright pyro orange. Very small layers <laughs> and we're gonna let's put some gold in there and a little bit of white and let's put some of that bright cheerful as a lemon yellow in there which one didn't I use did I use all of them yeah okay so we're going to come back to the nickel as a go. Actually, now I'm going to put some white in between those two. And I think I want to put some pyro orange on there. And some more of the cadmium yellow. 
you notice I'm using thicker layers of the yellows and thinner layers of the two orangey colors. lovely paint stands from Molly. They are amazing. I really, really like these a lot. You can find them in her Etsy shop. Like this canvas, HOA said, why don't you put push pins in it? Because the push pins are deeper than <laughs> the thickness of the piece of wood. So. <laughs> okay, so this is nice and thin. Not leaving a mound, pretty much just sinking right away. So put this on here tilt it out Gonna have way more paint than we need anyhow so I'm not really worried about it I just would like to have a nice smooth surface to work on much just to give the because the wood is going is dry and it is going to soak up some of the paint so the hope is that it soaks up some of this white paint rather than what's in our cup okay we're gonna do a flip cup Ooh, I should torch this fell out of bubbles <sighs> <It's so dry. laughs> Paredes. Here we go. We're going to flip this and we might do a flip. That, well, I don't know if we're going to. No, we're just going to do a flip cup. Okay. Here we go. Right into the middle. It's moving. Stay there. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to lift this up. That's pretty. <laughs> I actually really like that. Come on, 
torch that real quick. Does it look like the sun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's tilt this up. So with the round canvases, pretty much, you're just making sure it's going over the edge. paint on there. Do you think we should take some off HOA or do you think we should leave it on there and it looks cool how it is? Um, I, I think it looks cool but I mean are you, trying, are you going for realistic sun or impression? Inspired by the sun. Inspired? <laughs> it looks pretty bitching the way it is. Okay. But if you wanted to tilt some off. Um, the only part that I would be willing to tilt off would be this part, the Nicolazzo gold, but I do see a lot of stuff underneath there and I see a lot of cells coming up as we speak. So I think I'm actually just going to leave this one the way that it is because I do like it. I think it looks pretty cool. So this was the sun. We did Mars that <laughs> you guys saw right before this. I'm going to torch this one more time because I see some more bubbles in it. very bright and happy and there's some nifty cells coming in through here and I really like this color I like that there's a lot of yellow still up here in this part that's interesting okay that's pretty cool let me turn it this way for you guys you can actually see it so this is awesome I will show you guys this one when it's dry and uh, Mars also Thank you so much for being here with us today. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is a few days later now. Hello, Gail. <laughs> the wind just started blowing. This is our red planet Mars. I really like how this one turned out. Very cool stuff happening in here. Beautiful cells. Hope you guys can see these. And I really love that line from the lip this was their flip and lip, the flip cup, where we dragged the lip through and created that really pretty dimensional line. And then of course up here, I love this part. With the quinacridone burnt orange and that beautiful blue violet with the treasure gold in it. Really cool. I love it right here. That's so pretty like just sheen of the purple on top of that burnt orange. It's gorgeous. So that's really, really cool. Oh, look at this pretty girl over here. Hello, sweetheart. Love Echeverias. <laughs> okay, let me go get the sun for you. We'll be right back. Okay. So this was the second pour we did, the sun. I hope you guys can see. That looks really cool. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we see some of the, all the different yellows. <laughs> we had so many in here. The Nicolazzo gold is that orangey one. We had the pyro orange. And then we had the Nicolazzo yellow and the Azo lemon yellow. And then we had our cadmium yellow deep from Liquitex. And look at these cute little cells. Hope you guys can see them. So I realize this one is fairly orange, but 
I don't think that the sun is completely yellow. So, <laughs> and again, these are inspired by the planets. Obviously, we're not trying to make them look exactly like the planets. But there are some really beautiful little cells. You know, and as far as yellow, I encourage you guys to play with it. Experiment with it. You know, first of all, don't make it super, super thin so it won't spread out as much and take over as much. And use it with contrasting colors. This part in here is actually really beautiful. So, don't be afraid of yellow. Embrace the yellow. Embrace the sunlight. <laughs> okay. So, this is our planetary series for today. I think you guys saw Lee and Jeremy doing Mercury and Jupiter right before me. So, that was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll be back with some more of these real soon. Because this was awesome. This was a lot of fun. And I have some more great ideas that I want to play with. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here with us. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll see you real soon.